What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony here for Indie for Breakfast or for pretty much everybody. Uh, this is Indie for like late Friday evening slash uh, Saturday morning tea. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for for being late. Uh, I had a kind of a long, a long day yesterday. Birthday, long night, birthday. I slept in, birthday. So, you know, sometimes this stuff just kind of happens. So today we're gonna be focusing on the PC title coming out on Steam here in about two days. Uh, I think it's Monday, actually, this thing gets released. It's called Color Bind. I mistakenly call this thing Color Blind several times, uh, but uh, not for for uh, for, uh, for no good reason. They actually did put in uh, lots of color blind accessible uh, utilities and, and stuff, like patterns, right? So if you, can, if you for some reason can't see a specific color, just switch the patterns, no big deal. If you, maybe the intensity on a certain color is a little awkward to you because you are colorblind and that's, you know, for greens or reds or whatever, feel free to go through and turn it all down. Or if you just like to play in black and white, why not? So let's go ahead and pull all this back up. Up, 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 here we go. And we're not gonna play with uh, with color patterns. Actually, you know what? I will play with color, color patterns because Somebody that's watching might be colorblind and I'm looking out for you. Now, going back here, I'm playing with the controller, but you can't also control us with the mouse. And uh, up here we have, I guess this is where all of your various uh, accomplishments are going to be highlighted, which is kind of kind of a neat way to uh, display, a, kind of a neat and subtle way to display all of your achievements. Uh, then of course, when I hover my mouse over the title, we get this really cool, kind of sound effect. Now, late last night, I did end up jumping in here and I was actually gonna record this uh, last night so I could sleep in and I ended up not doing that uh, because I wanted to go and get kind of an idea of what it was. I was like, yeah, let's play a couple levels, right? I got in and uh, I'm sitting around bouncing around and uh, I, it, immediately I was like, okay, this thing's slightly awkward to control. It's a little floaty, right? Uh, I guess, you know, us being in space, I could assume, uh, and dealing with gravity all the time, it would kind of make sense to have some kind of floatiness to everything. Otherwise, uh, with with solid, uh, I would say like earth intensity gravity, you will have, uh, these boxes, for example, would be flying all over the place. You probably would have a little, uh, some limitations on level design and whatnot because you have to compensate for the speed at which everything is moving. Now, zooming out here, you just see that everything that I just knocked around is kind of went in a, a completely different direction than maybe what we expected. So we have green blocks there. Let me get over this red one here. Let me zoom in here. Come on. Here we go. Let me see if I can hit those green blocks. There. Come on. Uh, uh. Damn it. Okay, both tires on the ground. Both tires on the ground. And one more. There we go. Now watch it. See, it goes up. The blue ones ended up over there on the left. Red ones down here at the bottom. So we're dealing with, and you can see at the bottom, that's the key. The red is down, green is up, blue is left. We're dealing with gravity based on color and it changes. Let's go ahead and go to the next one here. Obstacle, right? Simple. Now green is down and red is, red is right, blue is up. So there is no, there is no right or wrong here. Uh, if I could rotate my monitor for some of these puzzles, I would. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even consider that cheating. Uh, if anybody were actually to sit here and uh, rotate their monitor around while they're playing because it this game can get pretty crazy while you're playing it. Um, now, notice how the blue thing is up because gravity is affecting it uh, in that direction. All blue is going up. So we're gonna jump up here. Uh, I skipped one right here, skipped a level. I'm gonna jump over here and uh, see if we can make this. And big in wheels, this is how we jump, right? And I have brakes too. Now, when you jump, the way you rotate your wheels actually helps oh, determine the direction in which your vehicle is going to spin. So there's a lot of control here, and this thing does not control, does not control that, whoa, crap. That was my mistake. <laughs> it doesn't control as, as, as nicely as I would want it to. Uh, there was an ancient game, like really, really old. It, it was on computers, it was on, uh, I wanna say you could play it on like, uh, Oh, like one of the first uh, personal computers, like uh, Atari, Atari, maybe a television or something. Um, even maybe some of the early Apples or something. Uh, it, it was like Moon something. Uh, what was it? It was like Moon Blaster or some crap. You were basically a little thing like this and you're just running across a train. You could jump and shoot up. Those are your only abilities. Jump and shoot up. Uh, or sh up and forward is what it was. And you had to tackle all these different things. I'm doing the same level again. Let's go ahead and go back to the next one. Here we go. 
Um, that's how this thing feels. <laughs> it feels like a 30 year old game. Let's go ahead and drop down. Now here, uh, this one kind of confused me for a moment because I'm still kind of getting used to the uh, all of the different, I guess the colors and how they affect gravity and whatnot. You know, and if you're not paying attention to the key, then it can be kind of confusing. Even if you do understand the key, it can be a little bit confusing. So check this out. Uh, did you see there's a button down there? Let's go ahead and hit it and watch. It'll be a little note that comes up. It says press F to restart when you get stuck. Notice how the F is red. If you if the F is red and you're red, and I guess if you're next to it or something, then that means that you fail. Because there's no way for me to get out of this hole, right? I just I, there's no way I'm getting out of this thing. Okay, so I hit F, start over. The entire map resets, and then we go and try it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and and it took me a minute, you know, because you have to kind of understand how the gravity works in this game. So it's like you hit this, and then like it falls or something, and then I like, hit something else. Uh, oh, oh dear. It did not do what I wanted it to do. Oh, that's right, I have to knock it up. Now, see? See, even after I've already done this puzzle once, really late at night, not remembering anything that I did or anything that I've learned, uh, I still mess it up. No, 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 don't touch it. Damn it. See, that's a fail. Come on. I mean, granted, you guys can probably already see. I mean, obviously, you guys are all like puzzle masters. Uh, everybody that follows me, uh, that subscribes to me, is a puzzle master. So you guys already see how this whole thing is going to be completed, right? You guys totally see that this is going to go, and it's going to knock that, and that's going to go, and that's going to knock that, and that's going to knock this, and that thing's going to fall down. It's going to hit that button, and this thing's going to go all the way down to the bottom, and I can make, make my way over to the exit. You guys already knew that, see? Easy stuff. Let's go ahead and go ahead a little bit. Uh, this one's kind of neat. It's introducing you to all of these new, all these different uh, ways to control gravity, right? And so here's one right here. Let me go ahead and drop down here. Notice that that thing is pointing down. So wherever that blue arrow is pointing, that's where I'm going to fall. Uh, unfortunately, I'm down here with the blue F, which means that's a fail, right? Oh, so I can't knock it that direction. I need to reverse gravity, make it go the other way. Since I could, uh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Since I can, knock it either direction. I want to knock it uh, the other way. That that was terrible. Did I get it? I think I got it. Yes. And then I fall down. And now I'm going this way. Whoop. Gonna make this jump. There we go. Now, let's go ahead a little bit further. Trebuchet. Okay, this one was a little awkward. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's, it's, it's awkward, but it, it was only because of the way you had to do it. I actually had it backwards. Uh, I can launch that ball by using gravity uh, up there into the red laser. It's hard, but I can do it, right? Hit this, and then you see where the gr little green tassels go? Green tassels go up, meaning that gravity, when I push this button, goes up. But when I let it go, it uh, disappears. So my initial my initial inclination was to do this. So hit this, uh, give that a nice little knock, Pfft, or not. You know, I forget it, it's going the right direction. I was gonna let it go and I was gonna complete it normally. But I, I knocked it down into the green bridge here. Oh, damn. And it ended up uh, going up there and when it hits that red laser up there at the top, it will turn red as you can see I'm gonna do here in a minute. Um, go, go hit it, go, 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 go. Here we go, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. There we go, now I'm red and gravity changes. As well as the music I wanna point out. It's definitely a, 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 an entire uh, oral and visual experience. So moving down a couple more. Oh God, this one. This one was a pain in the ass. I, it's probably gonna take me forever to do it just even like this. Now I have to control the direction of all the colors. So <laughs> let me go ahead and knock this guy. What's funny is the hardest part about the game is uh, initially, and on some of the puzzles, on a lot of the puzzles, is the your character and how it moves, like your little cart here. Uh, it is very clumsy. It does feel like if if <laughs> if he was like trying to uh, off road in a, uh, in a radio flyer, you know, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Oh, let's see. So I hit that one. How did I do this? So now the green one is loose. Now, obviously, the exit's over here, so I want to get up there, but I can't make it this way. So, blue, you hit that. That knocks me over here. I can't knock this thing over. Can't hit it hard enough. I've tried before. I can't. Let's see if I can. See, there's just no way. So, when you hit the green, 
it flips everything this way. It even controls the gravity uh, or the pull on some of the uh, the actual little paddles there that to push. So I've hit this one, then that adjusts those. But I can't if I hit this one right here, then that's going to reset. It's gonna basically set me back. So I need to, I believe, clear this, hit that without. Uh, I think that just messed it up. Oh no 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 I'm good. Then I hit this. Now, <laughs> keep in mind when you're upside down, your controls also reverse. That can get a little weird too. Now I could go through this way. Damn it. Let go. Go in here. Go and nudge. There we go. It's an awkward little, uh, little thing that we have to control. It's weird. Um, I don't know if I've, if I've completed these. Let's see. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. So this one is, is really funky. Let me zoom out here. You guys can see it. This is where I stopped. Uh, and for reasons you'll, you'll see soon. I can already tell this thing is going to get really hard. Figuring out how to do stuff. So it's like the difficulty curve goes like this. Controlling your vehicle, hardest thing. Second is gonna be how to complete the puzzles. That's the second hardest thing. Looking at this, I can see it's like, okay, uh, everything here is uh, pretty well um, laid out. I kind of get what I'm supposed to do, right? Maybe not immediately, but I kind of already get what I'm supposed to do. Go all the way around this thing and then somehow manage to land over there on the right-hand side. Uh, executing it is what gets hard because now, now you've gone from, I, I understand how to control my character. I understand what to do. Now, how do I, how do I merge those two and make this happen? So here we go. Zoom in here. Now, I wanna know something. Uh, I wanna note something. Thank you, colorblind mode for adding patterns. Uh, but, well, I guess the colorblind portions probably doesn't include patterns because it doesn't affect the lasers. So if you're enabling patterns so that you could see uh, the lasers and whatnot, okay, oh. I think I'm good here. Um, then this might not work for you. I think I did that right. Now I have to get up over there. <sighs> Come on. Damn. Okay, okay, good. I tried again. I don't know if I could do this actually. Maybe I go on this thing over here. Let's see. Okay, both wheels have to be on the ground in order to make it. I feel a slight roll going here. <laughs> and... Okay, that's not the way to do it. Okay, so green is going to set me up this way. That is going to send me off into space, and I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh man, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna fly off into the cosmos. Here we go. Oh crap, try again. Right, I'll try it one more time here, but thankfully I can skip this and go on to the uh, the next area. I come back later and figure this out. Oh, there we go, off into space. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I've already completed a ton of levels on this because you just get carried away and just get going. Uh, which is good because the initial levels that I've already completed would have taken up the majority of this any for breakfast It really would have um, But thankfully I've completed up to this point. So now I can show you guys some of the more complicated stuff Now I'm Gonna hit this It's going to adjust Yellow right How do I get over there? Can I just jump it and will the red send me off, off in that direction? Let's find out. Damn. Almost. Last shot, last shot, last one. Come on, yeah, get over. Stupid car. <laughs> Damn car just has a mind of its own. Stop, 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 stop. Good, 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 good. 
I wish there was a way for me to stay yellow. That's just, that's just not possible. Because, boy, that would solve a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 am I have it? Oh. <laughs> that would have been the wrong way, but if it would have worked, then that would have been totally happy with it. Uh, let's go on, on to the next one here. Uh, as you can see, they're starting to get a little bit more difficult. And really, it just, it now comes down to, like, how are your... How are your, like, random, crazy, gravity platformer skills? I can handle a platformer. But damn, like, taking all this other stuff into account just gets nuts. Just gets nuts. Uh, I need to... Hit that top one over there. Hmm, I have nothing to knock around, though. Let's go down here just to see. Let's just take a gander here. Hmm. Oh, oh, don't. Okay, maybe I can... Uh, not what I wanted to do. Alright. I thought I could do this in like two steps, but it looks like I'm gonna have to trigger a whole bunch of them. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? No, no. I'll touch that one. Stop, 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 stop. Alright. There we go. Let's go over here. And then we'll knock this guy. That will save my day. Come on. <laughs> Freaking, it's like, a, it's like the moon lander or something. It's just, it's so floaty. You just, you hit something and you're just like, then you're just like, well, okay. I'll just hang out until it's done. It'll tell me when it's done. Okay, and then I want to hit that guy. Obviously, because going off the edge here would not be good. Can I make that in a single jump? Let me test. Maybe I can, yeah. There we go. Now this is gonna be, this is gonna be, uh, oh. Give me over it, there we go. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Hmm. Now, these are, again, levels I've not done yet, so. Okay, that's just gonna throw me around a little bit. So this, I guess we'll just, I'll just be tossed around, I'll just figure it out. These things are new. They don't seem to do anything. I don't have a, a red F anywhere. Hmm. I haven't any action buttons or anything. I just haven't seen these particular obstacles before. Let's go back. All right, let's stop ourselves. Uh. Maintain control. Hit the green slowly so that way we fall onto that switch, onto that platform with the switch. Beautiful. Ah. Oh, that is, that is such a cool, oh crap. They're not doing too good. No, they're not doing too good at all. <laughs> that's not the way that's supposed to work. <laughs> Uh, now, if they'd get out of my way, I could probably make this work on my own uh, without having to go back and restart. But they're they're definitely uh, all up in my way. <laughs> uh, let's give it a shot. I mean, granted, this is definitely a uh, let's try again. Let's start over. But why not? Why not? Give me that laser. Give me that laser. Give me that laser. Yes. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, God, I can hit your ride. That's what I'll do. I will hit your right on one. <laughs> this is great. All right, let's start over. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead this time and simply uh, hit your right on the first on the first set that comes down. Oh crap! It's gonna hit it before I'm ready. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Hit it. Hit the button. And done! Precipice. That was kind of a cool box. I'm guessing I have to push it up and then get into it, then push it down. Oh, sideways. Again, turning my monitor sideways would be great. Now look at the red. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed before. The red is indicating that uh, we are... <laughs> red, in fact, does not point in a, in a straight 90 degree angle. Uh, it does point... In, why can't I make this hill? 
Uh, it is pointing down and to the right. Oh, so it's careful. Hmm, really? That was not me being careful at all. Hmm. Obviously, it's not where it wants me to go, but, uh... Oh, slippery. What? Put the brakes on. All right, let's go back to the top. <laughs> Everything is slippery, which is why I can't make it up the sill. Okay, come on. And just a little bit, just a little bit. Damn. Alright. Wait, what is down there anyways? Just the blue, right? Oh, I guess maybe I do have to go all the way down. Let's take a look. Yeah, I guess I do have to go all the way down. Hmm. Ah, jeez. Get some speed going. <laughs> now, we are watching this, of course, in 1080. One of the, the bonuses of being able to do PC games. Uh, because, oh. Make this jump! Oh, because of course, as you guys know, most uh, indie games on the Xbox Live platform do not support 720p. As a matter of fact, most AAA games do not support actual uh, 1080p. Sorry, the uh, indie games only support 720p. Um, so that's just kind of the nature of the beast there in terms of like doing an indie for breakfast on a PC and doing it on the Xbox. Woo! All right. Now. The real challenge. Damn it. All right. You know what? F that one. <laughs> Let's try another one. Uh, thank God it doesn't simply unlock the next one or else I would have been stuck back there at the crazy rotating one. Oh, I didn't know these blocks would also be affected. I guess it, I could assume, but. I don't know if the one is gonna do me, so. Of course, these guys are heavy as hell. There we go, get over there. Now green is, uh, it's going down, but it's also going down at a different rate than blue is. And I need to wedge myself in there. Get that guy out, nah. I'm gonna need all these, I already know it. If I can give these guys a good push. Oh, pff, not like that. There we go, that works. So now they're basically lighter. Notice how it's freaking impossible to push these things. Uh, let's see if I could get on top of them. Sure, why not? I'll do it that way. Okay, that one's lighter. Should be able to push us both through pretty easily. There we go. There we go. Now, now we can toss them around with much with ease. Now, what do I have to do with them? Push this thing down? I'm guessing. See what this button does. Alright, that's neat. Notice, I notice I can control the direction of my... ...of my rover. By using... Hmm. Ah. <laughs> okay. Kind of figured. Call all the way back. Heavy. Bam. Now, can I now control the... Oh, uh, I can, but I bet you I won't push this thing all the way down. It's I'm too heavy for that. So, uh, I should go green. Then come all the way around and... Can I make jumps? Oh, barely. Wow. Now I can toss those things around like nothing. Let me, let me try this. And then there it goes. <laughs> Blop. All right. There you go. Get over there. Let me just take a couple with me. I don't need all of them, but I can definitely use. Get over there. <laughs> Stupid get. 
There we go. You can stay there for now. Wait. Let me survey really quick. The red's gonna take me up. I already know that. I want to... Wedge... This guy down. To the best of my ability. Oh. oh kind of making it difficult to jump here. There we go. Right. I, I do kind of need that other thing, though. Take the elevator back up. Don't want to knock that off. Let's go and grab this one. Hmm. There you go, get on there. Let's hit this button and see what happens here. Now I'm not sure, I'm kind of experimenting here. I think I kind of know how to solve it, but also at the same time, I don't think I, I don't think I know at this point. I think it'll take a little bit of experimenting. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I got it. Okay. I don't actually need this one. Okay. So I am right. My 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 guess is right. I just don't know if I could pull it off. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm going to feel like an ass because right now I'm feeling like, yeah, what's up? All of you guys making fun of me for puzzles and whatnot. <laughs> now watch them be wrong. Okay. Hit this and then blam. It's dunk. I have to make all these jumps. Oh god, <laughs> so difficult to do when you're so fat. Now, now that my weight, I'm so heavy on the one side, I should be able to very easily get through here. And that's it. <laughs> Booyah! What's up now, internet? <laughs> Alright, let's take a survey. That's an interesting looking thing. Yeah, blue. Yeah, I'm guessing the green needs to go into that to weigh it down to go somewhere up there. And it looks like I might have to ride it. Yes, I will have to ride it. Okay, I can't do blue because blue is just gonna blue is just gonna ruin my day. Let me see if I can push these guys over there. Don't take off without me! Damn it, there it goes. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> I don't think hitting the green flame will change my direction, uh, but I haven't tried that actually. So first let's do this. Let's see if I can get rid of the blue guy first. If he's out of my way, then I'll be much better off. Actually, yeah, now that they're both in there, let me go and get this guy in there. There we go. You get in. I will be waiting right here. Okay. As noted, of course, by the key below, the blue is uh, is affected by gravity more so than the green. Get out. Get out, yes! Oh crap, 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 crap. No! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see, what? Okay, so green and blue are equally affected. Red is uh, not so much. So I'm floaty. Everything else is like crazy. That's F fail. Let me get a good solid jump going and see if I can just hit the blue. There we go. And uh, that's it now. Can I make this jump? Hmm. There's no blue F. So I'm not quite sure if I failed yet. Oh no, it looks like I failed. <laughs> Go, fat! Get up! Take a look around. Hmm. This one's got me a little perplexed.
can't climb it. I'm too heavy to climb it. Because sometimes you could climb things when you hit them at an angle. All right, let's go back. Take a look here. It looks like that's the appropriate answer. Uh, all this is just like a note basically to say this is, like this area right here is just like, hey, this is what colors are going what, so pay attention. Yeah, hmm, can't make that happen. Yeah. So I could dunk myself down there. Dunk! If I hit green, I'm gonna fall. Yeah, huh, I, I can't, is this, I wonder if this is just a, a skill test. And not necessarily a puzzle. Cause jumping off this thing is difficult. I'm so fat! By skill test, I mean like I actually have to time that perfectly. Damn. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on this one. I'll go back, next one. Balance board. I'm so happy that I can continue on without having to do all of them. Whoops. Uh, yeah, because we're green down there is fail. Uh, to save myself. Well, okay, actually, I can show you right here. This is what I was trying to do in the other one. See, if, you, if you're hanging off the edge or if you're kind of a little too far or something like that, you could save yourself and, oh, and sometimes get yourself back up. Notice how I did kind of grip myself, pull myself back up. Um, oh, I'm really floaty. Wow. Ooh, see how many can I jump a few at a time? That's a no. <sighs> oh, that save. Oh, what's over here now? Okay, yes, green, you are affected by that. Oh, and so wherever I move this, see, that's a neat mechanic. Little things have been added to kind of make change in gravity interesting. Now, obviously, this is one of them. I keep this momentum going. I may be able to hit a button. And now we're upside down. I think this is the last one that, oh crap. This is the last one we're gonna do as part of their campaign levels, damn it. Oh. <laughs> uh, see? Vehicle control, figuring out the puzzles, and then putting them together. Damn. Alright, let's go back here. Um, I wanna show you this, because I've not actually played with it. So they have your own. I'm using the mouse for this. Uh you can make your own maps. So I've not even played with this. New World Polygon, sure. Oh wow. Slippery. Standard. Set. New laser. Make it green. New bridge. Rotate it around. <laughs> I'm doing such a great job here, aren't I? <laughs> this guy in the middle. And then... Uh, this looks good. Let's go ahead and play. <laughs> how do I play? Uh, how do I play? Start new level. Low level. Save this level. Play this level. Look at this. What a complicated piece of art this is. Look at that. I beat it. <laughs> uh, obviously, you could get pretty ridiculous in terms of size here. Uh, if I click on, uh, probably if I click on uh, what one of those guys here. Where is my and biggin for the wall? Here we go. Move it around and rotate it. Zoom in a little bit here. Damn. How oh, interesting. What a simple background, new body constraints. Oh boy, I don't even know what that is. See, I haven't even gotten to some of the stuff. 
I could choose which direction to have it go, really? Oh wow, yeah, so I guess if you really want to get get into it. Hmm, how do I zoom in on... How do I move the whole mouse thing over? Move the mouse to the corners? Nope. Anyways, yeah, I keep going to the middle. Try WDS. Nope. Oh, pfft. sure, that's my level. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was going to show you this, uh, but I'm clearly not going to sit here and build something. New level text. Text. Edit text. How do I edit text? <laughs> uh, that works, whatever. Yeah, wow, I'm terrible at this. Is there a place I could go and get? That's one thing I haven't seen, because the game's not out yet, right? So I can't necessarily go and get any levels from anybody just yet. Uh, but there's a folder. Uh, I was snooping around inside the files, and there's a folder in there that will allow me to... Uh, where that's probably saved right now. Um, gotta have, like, no medals. Single player. Cooperative. Yeah, no co-op. Co well, how would co-op work? Let's go back here. Let's try co-op. Actually, you see custom levels. Yeah, you can see my level, all right? Swap. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna add. I mean, it gotta be great if like Steam Workshop could just work for everything, right? The ability to go ahead and add uh, levels from users that would be sweet. Uh, I don't know if that's coming. Um, you know, what's what's really funny is that uh, there's not even like a price anywhere. Like I could not find as of this recording, could not find a price for this thing to save my life. I even tweeted the guy uh, maybe like an hour or so ago. Just asking him, you know, what what is the deal with the price? Because uh, it's not written anywhere. Even on Steam, it says available 24th, 2012. It'll unlock in two days, tw uh, tw 23 hours, whatever. Um, but it doesn't actually say what the price is. And I think that's kind of nuts. Um, let's see. All you have to do is work together. Oh, it's a whole, a whole other set. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah, it's a whole other set of levels. See? So this is like, now we're getting into like portal level uh, complexity in terms of how many, you know, different players you can have. Yeah, see, I can control both of them. One is the keyboard, uh, the uh, cursor keys. The other one is the WA. So you can, have, you can have multiple people on one keyboard if you want. Oh my god. I can just... This is like some rage quit quality stuff right here. This game would be so perfect. Can you imagine that? Just somebody just not getting the gravity right and just rage all day long. This is so perfect for that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Working together, huh? That doesn't happen in video games. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go back. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be able to do that by myself. And take a look at uh, some of these single player levels. Go all the way down here. Oh, I can't actually see beyond this. Huh. So here's what I know. There are 50 unique levels. So everything that you've seen me do so far uh, has only been up to the point F this level. Uh, has only been uh, up to the midpoint in the game, and I've not even completed them all. I haven't. Uh, some of the simpler ones are not even worth showing because they're really just there to kind of teach you some of the basic mechanics of the game. Um, not necessarily there for you to, uh, you know, kind of rage over or anything. Uh, let's see. Land on this. Stay still. And get enough momentum. Not quite. Anyway, so there's 50 levels to go through. You've only seen, just, just today, you've only seen levels between 1 and 27, but you've not even seen all of them, right? Um, so there's tons, tons more. I wish I could just go right to the end just to just to make an attempt, make a pass at the last one. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I didn't want to go down here. I need the momentum for being up there. Now, in co-op, uh, there are 20 levels. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to, I need to just, wow, I need to actually hit both of them. That's going to be interesting. Damn. This is like a timing thing, like getting that nail just right so I hit both of them in one jump. Uh, nope, that's not it. Not it. So it's a fun game. The biggest the biggest concern I have is is literally the fact that you have to get used to the controls. And I'm using a controller. I personally recommend it. But then again, oh that's not gonna be it. Uh, maybe I can get a good jump going. Let's see. Yes! Beautiful. Um I recommend using a controller, but that's just me. 
Uh, once you get used to the controls, things get a little bit easier, but then, you know, of course, you're going to be floundering around sometimes like this, uh, trying to just get something just right. You can't control, you cannot control the height of your jump. All you do is you push a button and your tires inflate for a moment, and that's it. Uh, so it's going to go as high as it's going to go. Now, you can double jump, not at, in one pass, you jump once, and then you nail it again, you get a little bit higher, see? Uh, but, but if both tires aren't on the ground, then you pretty much screw that up. But interesting game, uh, it's a puzzler. There's clearly lots of depth. I mean, tons of depth if you consider the 20 co-op levels, uh, 50 single player levels. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh my God. And it's a unique concept being able to play with gravity. It was almost like VVV, but VVVV, uh, but like on a scale of like, like times 50. It's pretty nuts. Uh, to because you're controlling everything, all the environment has its own physics and whatnot, and the physics changed. Gravity can be tougher or a little bit more extreme for a certain color than another one. So now you have to take all that into consideration. It's like, oh, suddenly I'm fat and heavy. I can't make a certain jump. Uh, all that stuff comes into play. So it is interesting for sure. I wish I knew how much it was because honestly, that would be the price itself is what's going to be the the game breaker for me, right? If we're talking like. Yeah, $20, that's a bit much for me uh, in terms of like a, a puzzler, puzzler like this. Uh, and that's personal opinion, right? Some people might think it's worth the, the $20. Um, but uh, if I were to take a guess, I would say it's probably somewhere between like five and 15, which I know is a wide, wide uh, guess. Oh, and the gravity's going on that way. <laughs> uh, and I'm not getting up out here. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how much it's gonna end up being. Again, I can't find it anywhere on, on the net. Uh, the guy is going to attend, uh, or maybe he has a, a free play, which is, uh, I believe, a convention or something over in uh, the UK or in Europe somewhere. Uh, and so that threw me off. I was like, this game is definitely not going to be free. There's no way. There's no way this game's going to be free. It's totally worth money, actual money. Oh, that level. God. No. Nope. <laughs> so many levels. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my name is... Mike B. A. K. Phony, and this has been an indie for breakfast color bind, and you can check it out on Steam. Uh, the page is up right now, no price or anything just yet, but it will be released on Monday. So check it out. Have yourselves a really great weekend. I might have an indie for breakfast reject coming for you guys this weekend. I might even have some bonus tests coming this week. I'm not quite sure yet. And of course, I also have the Black Magic versus the Avermedia card capture throwdown comparison, whatever you want to call it. It's a very, very technical multi part video that's going to be released over the course of this next week, probably starting on Monday. I'll be releasing them as they get the completed. I'm not necessarily like waiting and like releasing them like because I want to wait <laughs> on some of them, but I want to release little, little bits of information at a time as I get through them. So that's it. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I'll see you guys later.